But when I had this experience with ketamine, it was, oh, this is really who I am. I am so deep in this, and I am so without fear. I am so without judgment. I am so without, without ego, without Scott. I am, I am everything. Welcome to this week's episode. Now, I was told recently, actually, I was shown recently of something that can happen when you are a natural born quadrant four, which means you you care a lot about quality and perfection in what you do. But if, if not kept in check, that perfection can lead to not doing anything because you're just stuck in this loop of needing something to be perfect before you put it out in the world. And I don't want to be stuck in that loop. And I very much want to bring you all very high quality videos, but sometimes I forget that high quality means high value. And it doesn't necessarily mean the perfect sound, the perfect look. Of course, those things matter to me. But what I think matters more, and correct me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments if you care more about how the video looks as opposed to the message we're actually delivering. Let us know. So with that being said, I decided, you know what? F it. Let's do this week's episode from the car with me actually holding the freaking thing. What's the thing called, honey? This thing. This, uh, I don't know. You get, you get caught up in it. A stand, tripod, a tripod thing. So we're going to do this week's episode from the road with me holding the tripod. Let's see how long on I can hold roads. it. On bumpy roads. And we can show everybody where we're at. We're we, in the middle of Oklahoma. We're in the middle of Oklahoma today on this, on this drive Headed day. Headed to Tulsa. Headed to Tulsa tonight. So uh, we're, we're, going past Tulsa. we're going past Tulsa. Walk. Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo, Texas. We're going to Amarillo, Texas. So you know what? Like I said, F it. Let's just bring you really high value content this week with maybe the quality not so high. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on that. So this week I really wanted to dive into ketamine and spirituality because so many people come to us, whether it be our quadrant theory course, online course, or our retreats that are seeking to deepen their spiritual practice. They want to be able to connect with the mystical. They want to trust. They know that there's something beyond them, beyond the three dimensional world. They know they are, uh, they have a higher self, a soul. Obviously they've had some sort of an awakening. They know that there's more, but it's really hard to trust something you can't touch, hear, feel, taste prove, right? It's, it's something that is experiential. It's something that science can't actually prove. It's something that you have to experience for yourself. And we, after, you know, Scott and I met seven years ago, has it been seven years? Seven years at a Dr. Joe Dispenza meditation retreat. So we have been experiencing and going after the mystical and spiritual for a long time. Him, well, obviously a lot longer than me. But not just in our own personal journeys, we've been coaches for the last five years, spiritual mentors. And so we know that many of you are seeking that spiritual experience and that you really have to have it if you're gonna walk this path because the challenges will outweigh the deeper experiences if you don't have one of those. And for us, when we went to a ketamine retreat over a year ago, we went, oh my gosh, this is what people really need to be able to have that deeper experience. So this week I really wanted to dive into that. So I'm gonna start with you, honey, and I would love for you to share with those that are listening that wish to deepen their spiritual connection. How do you believe ketamine helps them to do that, knowing everything that you know. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a quick minute to share a little message with you. I am super passionate about creating the very best YouTube channel that I can, that Scott and I can, to share our wisdom, insights, experiences, knowledge with you to help you on your journey of spiritual growth, of finding clarity and more balance in your life. So if you could do it, me a huge favor, if you enjoy our content every week, if it brings value into your life, if you could please remember to like and subscribe, click the little red bell so that you're notified 
when we put a new episode out each week. And then comment. Let us know in the comments if the content is valuable, if there's something in there that is said that resonates, if there's something in there that helps, if there's something in there that you're like, wait a minute, I want to dive a little deeper into this. Let me know in the comments. And if you have any ideas for what would be helpful for you on your journey to becoming more whole and finding more peace in your life, let us know in the comments. We'd love to make some more content for you. See you on the other side. I think the first thing is it helps because it, it takes you out for a short period of time, an hour, say. It helps you go out of the ego and experience who we say you really are, right? It, it's to really help you understand that, yes, you are, you are just playing a character and that character is portrayed by your ego or your name or whatever and we've heard this before but to actually experience what that kind of feels like is pretty transformative and it takes the sting kind of out of the out of the ego and your current situations and it helps you get more expansive so i don't know if i'm really answering this the best way because i'm kind of trying to drive here. He's, he's driving this big old huge Joni well, and I'm, he's answering and I'm trying question. to follow where my directions are going. Anyway, uh, ketamine, it helps you take you out of it, out of your experience. All right, we're going to try this again and see if it works this time. The road's a lot smoother. He knows where he's going. I will add a side note here. We are about to pass Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Now, why this Broken Arrow is is uh, is funny and is of importance to bring up is because I went viral. The, the 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 retreat I was leading went viral on on Facebook in Broken Arrow. We were doing I was facilitating it a sacred sister retreat, so specifically for women to really open up their their feminine energy. And the last day we did a walking breathwork meditation around this area that we were staying in. And and people ended up video recording us. There was, um, I think like eight or nine women there, video recording them all walking around and thought that we were zombies or we were on mushrooms or we were in a cult. Oh my gosh, it was all, all sorts of, of funny things that they came up with. So this is the place. I went viral. Yeah. 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 All right. So enough, enough of that. So what we were talking about is for those of you that desire to deepen your spiritual connection, maybe to have deeper meditations, to have some sort of a mystical experience, how do you believe and what have you seen in your own journey? How have you in your personal experience and now facilitating for ketamine retreats. How would you explain how ketamine can help you deepen that spiritual connection? Well, I guess for me, as an example, it, there was always a uh, feeling this uh, connection to something bigger than me, bigger than Scott, right? Bigger than the identity, ego, whatever. And I think, you know, most people, they start to meditate just so they can calm themselves, whether to calm their mind down, whether yeah. to, you know, maybe heal their body yeah. or just get more centered or not be so anxious or whatever the reason. Yeah. And then usually something happens where they go into this place that feels incredible. It, it just feels beautiful and calm and whatever. And I think that starts the chase of chasing that feeling. and. Whether you have had that experience or not, you can get caught in the chasing of that feeling because you heard about it or whatever. And that's what I think leads people to, you know, into really any kind of drug use. I mean, because they they want to escape the reality that they're stuck in. I think the same thing could go, you know, for searching for spirituality, for sure. So why ketamine was great for me was because I had that experience before. I had the experience of the pop or kind of going out of the body and what is that. It's basically just becoming this energy that is not 
who you think you are. It, it's 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 more universal. It's more connection. It's more consciousness than it is an ego Scott experience. And when I had my first ketamine experience, I was immediately there. I was immediate where before it would take. You know, sometimes I could get there. Most times I wouldn't, maybe one out of 10 times. And then the more I thinned my veil, the closer I could get to that feeling more and more. And thinning the veil is by practicing, right? Yeah. You want to throw a better uh, you know, throw a better football, you practice throwing the football. Yeah. Same as meditation, same as breath work. The more you do it, the thinner your veil gets and you get better at it, reaching that state, that blissful, state and when i did the ketamine i was there right away and i experienced that to the degree of oh well maybe this feeling that i have been feeling for so long going to this place where i thought it was kind of an anomaly you know it, it was this place that you go that you know you get a download or you get this you know insight that you bring back to you or with you mm -hmm. but when I had this experience with ketamine it was oh this is really who I am I am so deep in this and I am so without fear mm -hmm. I am so without judgment I am so without without ego mm -hmm. without Scott I am I am everything I am the person that I'm sitting next to I'm the notes and the music I'm all of it mm -hmm. I am the music that I hear in my headphones I am all of it. And for me, it was then realizing, oh, this is really the truth. This is truth. I've come to this place where I can touch and I can smell and I can taste so I can experience the humanness that I can, that I can feel. And, you know, feeling of fear Sure, we don't want to feel fear as a human being, but as a universal being, as a universal consciousness, it's part of it. You want to feel what fear feels like because you've never felt that. You are always in bliss. There is, it's kind of like, I love sunshine, so I'm going to go live in Florida on the beach. And then suddenly I've lived there for four years and all I've experienced is sunshine and sand. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Maybe I want to go in the snow. Maybe I want to go to the mountains. Maybe I want to experience what a, a, a cold, rainy day feels like. I think it's the same with the universal, you know, our universal consciousness. We came here to experience all things. The problem is now as an ego, we have put a judgment on it. Fear is bad. Judgment is bad. Um, you know, and pain is bad because it is. It's uncomfortable for us. So now we're just trying to, maybe this is our way to go back home, so to speak, and understand that, you know what, it's not so serious as we think it is. This fear is not so serious as I think it is. And what if I can equalize all the playing fields? So, sure, I can experience fear without the attachment to it and think I am living in it. I can experience sunshine and beautiful, mountain views without getting attached to it I am just in a state of bliss being in it I think that's what we're trying to really do we don't want to eliminate the ego we want to work with the ego yeah. instead of it we either dominate it meaning the conscious soul mm -hmm. dominates the ego and drags along and says you will acquiesce to my wishes or else I will destroy you or, you know, the ego, which it has in our human existence, has just taken over us. Which, by the way, is the left side of the brain and the right side yeah, of the brain. Yeah, I mean, and, using and that, our quadrant theory. that is exactly what we talk about in the quadrant theory, is understanding that when you're in that side of the brain where the ego lives, you are only aware of the ego. Yeah. When you go into the meditation and you go into quadrant four, the other side of the brain, you are universal consciousness. Yeah. But there's a mix. And what if we could take all those quadrants, those tanks, and what if we could fill those tanks equally? And we had a regulator that made sure that we, when we're 
filling quadrant one, the doing and where the mortgage gets paid, where the boss is, where the pain is, where all the, what if there's a equalizer, a, 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 uh, a regulator that then says, wait a minute, quadrant one is getting way too much energy right now. We need to put it over into quadrant three. We need a little bit of play right now. Or let's get over to quadrant four where we can get back and in touch with that mass consciousness that we are. So ultimately, what we are trying to do for ourselves and understand so then we can help other people understand the quadrant theory is we're trying to regulate. We are trying to get to that place that pain isn't so painful. Uh, you know, not having enough isn't so painful. It's just, I know I am always taken care of because my truth is I am a conscious being that is everything. There is no separation to me and anything that I experience. I am it. It doesn't stop at my skin. The ego stops at the skin. So fear, pain, all of that, the ego will use it to keep you locked into the ego. It's selfish. It wants that. It wants that. Where the consciousness is saying, let go and become all of it. Ketamine helps you understand that you are that conscious being and to trust it and to know it and to experience it even more so you it's building the muscle to understand oh i am this so there really isn't anything to be afraid of it's just the ego is saying to be afraid of it. there is a billboard that says qt two miles exit 222 qt is quadrant theory and 222 is what we use there you go. on everything so he's speaking truth right now people he's speaking truth yeah i think but, here, but here's the thing, just by whoever is watching this, you're watching me say these words, I'm inside you. I am in your consciousness. So your consciousness is saying, come this way. That's why you clicked on this video, or that's why you click on an Abraham video, or that's why you click on a Joe Dispenza video. That's why you click on these videos, is because they are inside your consciousness. You are those. So the person that's teaching you and telling you all this is you, is the one who is viewing this right now. The one that is taking all this in right now. You are the one who is ultimately deciding to listen to the voice that says, come this way, come this way. And ultimately that's why we now facilitate and use ketamine as one of the tools at our retreats and in our quadrant theory class because the ketamine helps activate that knowing that this is all just happening inside of you and it helps build that neural network with quadrant three and four so that he said you do deepen that connection so that it's not a segregated part of your life so that it actually is as equal as quadrant one and two which is the ego a There you go. So I want to say one last thing before we finish this up is you don't have to use their QT. You don't have to use ketamine to grow spiritually or deepen your spiritual connection or, or live a more spiritual life. You don't have to use ketamine for that. You can meditate. You have all the chemicals in you to do it yourself. And if ketamine doesn't call to you, peace be with you. Bless your heart. Continue on your journey and keep doing what you're doing. There are people that have a thicker veil due to more trauma, number one, trauma in their childhood. So just more ego. That's what I was gonna say. If you let me finish. I'm sorry. Just kidding. I'm sorry. Trauma and if you just have a, a, a thicker analytical mind, you know, if you're a natural born quadrant one, you're gonna have a thicker analytical mind. And when you have a thicker analytical mind, you tend to want to hold on to control. Because quadrant one is is by me consciousness it's i'm gonna create shit i'm gonna make shit happen and that's good to, to to be there but you don't want to stay there so that sense of wanting to control is sometimes what stands in the way of you just like go surrendering to the third level of consciousness which is through me that's quadrant three the right side of your brain so some people just have a thicker corpus colossum the thing that that stands in the middle of the two halves of their brain right it just 
for various reasons. And there is nothing wrong with you if you are one of those people. It's not like you're doing it wrong or something's wrong with you or it's none of those things. And there should be no shame with saying, you know what? I'm going to try something different. I'm going to, I'm going to try something that may help me and maybe it will and maybe it won't. All I can tell you is from our, my experiences, experience, and now facilitating it for, for other people. We have seen people leave. One lady came in with a pretty much chronic 10 pain all of the time. And we just did a community call. She left that retreat and she's at a two. She's at a pain level two and has been since the retreat. And that was in June. It's now almost September. We have seen another woman that was holding on to grief and guilt from her sister's death. She's in her early 50s. Her sister died when she was 12. We saw that dissolve after a ketamine journey. So these things happen and ketamine is a technology and a tool that you can use. You don't have to use it. And of course we use it in a very um, ceremonial, safe, structured way at a retreats. We're not just willy-nilly with it. So if you are someone that has a thicker veil because of a lot of trauma or just because you have a really, really thick analytical mind, it may be a tool that works for you. So that's all, right? Right. There you go. In the next video, we should talk about those two examples of what happened to those people and where they are now in their journey and also why that happened that's great let us know in the comments right if you want to hear about that then you'll have to stay tuned for the episode where that comes out so let us know if this was helpful to you we i'm super passionate about creating a really really good youtube channel and that requires hearing from you all so let us know if this is helpful content let us know what we're struggling with in your life right now, like what you may need tools or wisdom or guidance on to help you through something specific to you so that, that we can speak to you and help you on your journey of healing, balance, inner peace, fulfillment, deep fulfillment and meaning and, and really living that out. So we hope you guys enjoyed this. We love you. If you want more info, on the quadrant theory class. I'll put a link in the description below as well as our next Reset and Reconnect Academy Therapy Retreat. On that note,